Okay, so we are in part two of this uh, containerization series. All right, so uh, as you have observed here, our um, local image is prepared and we uh, even ran inside this EC2 instance and we have delivered the web pages. Now, so if you want to uh, use this uh, ECS service, so we, we need to First, we need to push these images to repository. So for that, we have a service called ECR. So ECR means Elastic Container Registry. So go to this ECR service and you first create a repository, then push that image to repository. So these are some existing repositories I have tested. I've tested uh, before making this video to make sure everything is working as expected. All right, so now uh, this ECR is a repository service, just like a, <clears throat> just like our um, uh, GitHub, how exactly we store all our code there, similar way we can put our images here in this uh, ECR. All right, so now uh, let's create a repository and you want to create a private repository, so the permissions and everything managed uh, with the help of uh, IAM and its uh, associated policies. So if you want to make it public, like, you know, anyone can uh, uh, pull your images to their local and they can run. So I prefer to go with the private and what name you want to give. So first I want to test with that um, uh, node application. So I'm going to call this as a my node as a repository name then create repository all right so this repository created so now this doesn't have any images so now the task is whatever the image we have here this my node image i need to push this ecr uh, central repository where I'm going to use this to uh, prepare a task definition to run inside that ECS cluster. Okay, so for that first, we need to configure AWS CLI in this local uh, machine. Local machine means, in my case, it is this EC2 instance. Okay, so without that uh, AWS CLI, obviously we cannot run, we cannot log into ECR to push that image. So first, you can run AWS space iPhone iPhone version to know the current installed version. So we are running with AWS CLI 1.18. So that means AWS CLI tools installed in my local laptop, we are good with it. So um, if you don't have, if, if you're getting any error, like a AWS is not a recognized command and all, so you download the AWS CLI tools and install it. So for that, go to this aws.amazon.com slash CLI. So go to this URL in right side pane. If you are using Windows machine, you download and install. If you are using Mac, you download this package and install if you are using Linux. So in my case, I'm using Amazon Linux machine. So it's a pre-installed, uh, pre-built with this AWS CLI tools. So we are good with this CLI part. So the next is we need to configure the user. If you are using an Amazon EC2 instance, so you can use role option. You create an IAM role and you associate that IAM role to this EC2 instance. But if you are practicing in your local laptop or outside of the AWS environment, so then you want to push that image to AWS, you need to create an access key ID and secret access key. Okay. So let me quickly demonstrate that. So let's go to IAM service. Let's navigate to IAM and create a user first. Navigate to users, click on create user. You give a name. So ECS YT demo is the name I'm giving. I don't require any console access. All I am interested at moment is that access key and secret access key where I want to configure. Click on next, attach policies directly. So if you are searching for this uh, ECR, so you can see this ECR uh, pull through cache, instance profile, replication service role, 
and uh, if you search for ECS you can see a lot of and um, in simple I really don't want to talk much about these roles now uh, the policies now we have a dedicated video in this YouTube channel so please spare some time and go through that and uh, currently I'm giving administrator access where it gave full access on all the services and all however it's not recommended now uh, for this scenario we are not following the least privileges mechanism right so instead of least privileges we are giving uh, like you know all administrator access as i mentioned that's not at all recommended but we are good with this uh, video for this uh, demonstration at least so i'm going with security credentials so then access keys click on create access key select command line interface i understand next create access key then immediately it is showing an access key and secret access key all right so now you run AWS space configure then give the access key ID so then the secret access key copy the secret access key paste that here then default region all my workload is running in Mumbai region only so I'm going to give AP iPhone South iPhone 1 default output format none we are good and uh, please don't share this access key in secret access key uh, anywhere I'm going to disable this credentials right after this video okay now CLI uh, configuration completed okay so now if you want to push any image from your local to AWS you first need to log in again for that login purpose we have a very simple command so first go to this repository so click on the repository and when you click on this view push commands click on that view push commands and this is the first option AWS ECR get login then it is going to pick the region docker login you can even skip this username and password also you can simply give this or you can simply copy this everything and you paste that here click on enter and you see here it's login succeeded all right so the login is succeeded now so we are good to push our image from our local to this ECR so if you observe this command so first it is saying first it is asking us to build it so but we already built right so you can happily skip this step now what we need to do we need to add a tag whatever the image we have in local that image name we need to give here so then we need to add a tag with our repository name so just let, let me uh, copy this and let me paste it here so the first step is login so this is a command to login right so then next command is to prepare the build this is a build so then after we need to tag so then we can push it okay so once login is completed we are building that image then we are adding it tag to that image then we are pushing it here in our case login required build not at all required why because we already prepared the image when you run that build command only the image prepares right so if you observe docker images my node is already ready so better to maintain same name it's easy for you only so then let's add a tag so currently this is uh, my node and uh, it is with latest tag whenever you run this command another tag is going to add so when i click on enter now run docker images you see here okay um, this one so it's now added with same image ID this, the image ID is same but another tag is added now is it going to consume 916 MB plus 916 MB no it uses 916 only in backend now let's go to this push and before running this push command I have no images here let's push that image
Okay. It's a bit huge in terms of size, but whenever uh, uh, it pushes to this repository, the size is going to be uh, compressed. And once we got that image into our ECR repository, so then uh, we can prepare a task definition. So basically this task definition uh, contains the property like you know what image we want to pick to run that docker image how many resources you want to configure like how much cpu you want to give how much uh, memory you want to configure and uh, you want to use any storage services like uh, uh, efs service and all or what is the port mapping you want to perform all such type of uh, settings we are going to define in a component called uh, task definition. So that going to be our next step. Now you see here, so the image is now pushed to our AWS ECR. So now this is the image, you go inside and you can verify this is the image URI. We are going to use this image URI uh, when we are preparing the task definition. And also this is one, and as I told you, I am going to demonstrate with two applications, right? Another one is uh, Nginx. Okay, so then let's create a repository. You can use same repository with another tag, but both are two different kind of applications. So I prefer to create another repository. Click on create repository. And I'm going to call this as my NGINX. I think that is a name. And maintain mentioned here my nginx. It's not mandatory to maintain same name, but it's good to. Okay, so now click on view push command. Login not really required. Why? Because the terminal already logged in. Build also not really required. We need to add a tag. So let's add a tag now. So how to double check Docker images command? And you can see here my nginx is now tagged with the repository uri okay so then we need to push it docker push so now the docker image the nginx local image is now pushed to this my nginx repository we have in our um, AWS ECR service. This is a URI. All right. So we got our required images into ECR service. So then in next video, we are going to discuss how we can create a task definition at a cluster and run multiple tasks. So then after we will discuss how to add a load balancer and all. Thanks for watching this video, guys.